Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Wait a second. Heavenly Father, I ask you to give me the words to say and to speak only what you would have me to say. Help me remember to tell him about the Molech sacrificing as part of this. Okay. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay. First of all, I want to start off with that. There was a story sent to me about, you know, have y'all heard about the, the mothers and fathers signing their kids up or kids are volunteering? However, that's working. Now it's down to six months to like 11 years old. And I had sent that to Kathy. I believe that that was the, one of the ones I sent. Uncrafted in Team Jesus. All right. And then I forgot to share it. Uh, I do that sometimes. I'm sorry, but it, it happens. Well, I'm telling you now. All right. So children are getting involved, and I'm like, Lord, why are we still here? This is so unfair. These little children don't know what they're doing. Well, then, I think it was last night. Okay, she talked about it, and then she got into the Bible and talked about these children being sacrificed to Molech. Okay, so then somebody sends me this video called Rapper Little Nass X Unveils Satan Shoes with Human Blood Inside. They just said that 66 cc's of red liquid with one drop of human blood in it is in the soles that you can see through. I guess as you walk, it would squish. I don't care if it's only one drop. Well, anyway, here it's got a picture of someone walking up the steps in one of these ancient pictures you know and they've got their little baby and they're about to put it in the hands of Molech the statue and somehow they burn them they okay so let me just play this little bit blood is or is supposed okay. to represent blood really First off, whose blood is this and where did it come from? Law enforcement needs to do a DNA analysis on this blood and compare it. He's showing one of those kidnappings and missing persons posters with, right here is 10 faces, 10 beautiful people. Two of them are old. One's an older man. Well, not really older. He could be 30s, 40s. The other one's younger. And all these ladies look to be, she looks like a teenager. Anyway, the point is they're missing people. Against any crime victims or any missing people. Second, based on the shoe itself, it would be reasonable to assume that this blood is or is supposed to represent blood from a human sacrifice ritual. Now, what does that mean? The practice of human sacrifice is as old as time itself. Evidence of human sacrifice has been found in almost every ancient culture worldwide. Why? Because their gods demanded. This practice is used to gain power by empowering the spirit realm. Sacrificed human blood is seen as kind of a spiritual battery that allows entities. Okay, I'll stop it there. At any rate, they're only, they only made 666 pairs and they're a thousand some dollars. So if, if that doesn't tell some people we're at the end now. That's about the video that I will link in the description box. All right, if you want to see more about the shoes. And the Bible verse is even in that section right near the where you see the blood, bloody water. It's water with a drop of blood. The verse that I saw Satan fall as lightning from heaven. <laughs> that we know is Obama. As lightning from heaven. Lightning is Obama, uh, Barak, B A R A K, and then from is Ur O, heaven is Bama, Barak Obama. 
Yeah. That verse is in the shoes. Anyway, Jesus has got to be coming. Has to be. I just found out that there are only two of us who didn't take the backs. And they're not going to open this place up until everybody has taken it. Someone new was moving in as we were sitting outside, and my neighbor from down the hall said, yeah, see, he'll, he's another one. He'll have to get his before this place can open up. All the new people will have to get them. And, I'm, and uh, she mentioned me and another lady, my friend. It's down the hall. I didn't. I talked out of it. And they're trying to talk her into it. And I'm like, I cannot believe that. They, I mean, I can. How wrong is that? How wrong is that? Two out of 80-some? Well, if we were full, it'd be 80-some. We're probably, we're probably down some. Uh, they put so much money into that first floor in that dining room to make it nicer, the artwork, the flooring, everything. Well, I'm going to write an email, but I, I got to pray about it, what I'm going to say. I don't know what to do. I just, I want to say, Jesus come, you know, I don't know what day they have in mind, but I did find out that our governor here in Alabama said the gyms can open back up May 11th. Now that's two months off, or about six weeks. We have two gyms here in this building. Well, they belong together, but it, uh, first, the one corner of the building that used to be like a little store probably, this was a hotel, and that was a store, and then now it's a gym, and then they got to be doing so well, they started renting out the other one. One was probably for men, probably the other for women, you know, and people would come to town if there was a fancy dinner and you needed a new dress and before shops got started. I don't know. I'm just imagining. It was the 20s, okay? This opened up in the 20s. So that was the roaring 20s. I can just imagine, you know, the kind of clothing that was in those shops. Because I'm sure that's what they were. We saw old movies where people went to hotels. and Anyway, off the subject. She was so friendly and she said, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm like, I will never, ever take that thing. I will never take it. And I just had to leave. I just... If that doesn't say to be able to buy and sell, if they can't see it, the ones who, you know, participated, I don't know what will. They just think it's for the good of all that we don't spread it, but they're going to spread it worse. I'm at more risk than they are. Aren't I? If I understand it right, anyway, I'm through speaking now. I guess I'm done ranting. That wasn't much of a rant, but I just wanted to tell you, I'm going to need your prayers on this one, and I mean seriously. I need my prayer warriors to seek God for a word for me. I'm asking too, but I pray you'll tell me, just sit tight. Leave, let them have their dining room and their activities and their transportation and everything back. Or not. Yeah, I'll take it to the group too. God bless each and every one of you. We can't take it no matter what. No matter what it means. No matter what. They know better than to beg me to take it.
but don't. I just have a fear that I'm going to talk her into it. I gotta tell her we gotta stick together in this. We have to. Don't you think so? Yeah. Okay, that's all. I'm done for now. I've This whole world is so evil and so tired of it, aren't you? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over your eye gates and ear gates when you listen to that video, if you do, over your computers. I plead it over all of us, our devices and our internet connections. And may we all stay in fellowship until we're out of here. And if you find yourself left behind, you stay strong. Don't you take it. Hell is not worth any amount of food, money, shelter. Spend your hell on earth. You apparently didn't get enough of it here. So you have to do yours later. You have to love Jesus most. You have to get out of the world completely. I pray that each and every one of us are found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and stand before the Son of Man and then come back down here and kick some demon But I'm telling you what, it's our turn. Yeah, it's our turn. In Jesus' name I pray. Bye for now. Talk to you later.